Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to program your Castle Creations ESC without using the Castle Link. The Castle Link does have a lot more options, but you don't need it. What you're going to need is obviously the ESC, the driver's ed guide, and your remote. Make sure to have your battery plugged in, and now turn your remote on. Hold full throttle, and turn on your ESC. All right, now wait for that. Now wait for another set of beeps to go through, like that. Now you're in programming mode. Let off the throttle, and now you hear a beep that goes beep, beep. All right, now open your driver's ed guide. Go to page. See if it'll focus. Twenty-three. Once you get there, you will get options. So your option number one is brake and reverse type. That's what that first beep is for. That's so go beep, beep. That first beep means option one setting. Uh, setting one, option one. This is with reverse. This is the default. I do want reverse, so I'm going to choose this option. To do that, hold on your throttle until it makes another set of beeps. Now it's going to go beep, beep beep. That means setting to option one. Option one. This allows you to use your braking power 25 percent. I like to set mine at 50 percent which is the default. So I'm so to, to say no to this option I'm gonna push up or go into reverse. Now it's gonna sound like that and you can let off. Now it's gonna go beep 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 which is setting to option two, which is the one that I want. So I'm going to select that by pulling down the throttle. And I'm going to let up. Now it's going to go one, two, three, one, two. I one, two, three, one. This is the reverse amount. How much reverse uh, remote amount do I want? How fast do I want to go in reverse? I like to choose the default, which is 50%. I don't want to go that fast. I don't want to go 100% in reverse. So, option one is 25%. I'm going to choose no on that. Go in reverse. Now let up. One, two, three. One, two. Which is the one that I want. 50% power. So, throttle. One four one. This is punch control. I don't want to choose option one. I like option four, which is lowest, not disabled, but lowest. This is how much how much acceleration. You know, when you, when you pull down the throttle, if you if you put it at disabled, you'll be able to wheelie really really well. It's how much punch it's going to give the back wheels or all four wheels if you if you're four wheel drive I like option four so this is it's on option one as you can hear one so go into reverse option two no option three no See, so you hear it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what I want. This is option four. So I'm going to hold down throttle. That's five, one. That's drag brake. Drag brake is, when, is say, you're running down, down the road, and then you let off the throttle. And drag brake is it will automatically put some, some of the brake force onto the wheels to make it slow down. I actually like to let mine go to a stop without the brakes. So I'm going to choose the default, which is drag brake off. So I'm at 5 1. Alright, so that's what I want. Hold on the throttle. Now for 6, which is dead band. I'm not really too sure about what this is. I think it's uh, when, when you just. Let push on the gas just a little bit. How much? How much of a? How much space is there for neutral? I, I just keep that at normal. 
So I'm at option one. Press that. No. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One, two. That's what I want. So throttle. Let up. Seven one. This is if this is for the people that want to use Nikum and a hydrite batteries. If you're using one of those, then you're going to want to choose option one, which is none. The voltage cutoff is uh, how much voltage you have left in your battery before the car goes down into, into cutoff mode. And in cutoff mode, your car will actually go into training mode, which is where you will only have 50% uh, full, uh, full 50% throttle. So you'll go half speed, and that's your little warning that that your battery is almost dead and then it's time to bring your car back and charge the battery. So you're going to want to you're going to want to choose option 1 which is none if you want to use nickel and hydride batteries. Do not use this if you're using lipos. I am using a lipo, so I'm going to choose no. Now I'm going to option 2, auto lipo. This is these all the rest are how much voltage you want to have left in your pack. I usually put it at uh, at five volts, at five volts, just to be safe. So for option two, I'm going to choose no. See now it's at seven three. So that's what I want. So again, throttle. Now for eight, motor timing. Now this is this is uh, this is a special one. Now with this, as you can see, if you run in the lowest, it'll give you long run times with cooler motor temps, but will make uh, make your car just a little bit slower. With the uh, option two, that's normal. It's the best mix of all speed, punch, and efficiency. So your car won't get that hot, but you could, you'll still get a little more run time, but a little less. I mean, a little. A little less runtime than this one, but a little more runtime than this one, which is the highest. It increases the amp draw, and your your boat your motor will get a little bit hotter, but you will go a little bit faster. I usually just choose normal. I like the best mix of all of them. So this is option one, as you can hear. So that's one. So I'm gonna choose no. That's option two, yes. So it's nine one. And if you don't have your motor plugged in, you will not hear these beeps. So uh, what, el what else you can do is there will be that little light flashing down there. So you can count the, the flashes on that. All right. Motor type brushless. Yes, I am running a brushless motor. Your other choices are brushed and then brushed high power. I don't really mess with those because I have a brushless motor. So I'm going to choose option one. Throttle. And now you're done. Now you're programmed. And you're good to go. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.